The growing art scene in Dubai has been drawing artists from all around the world. But it's hard to believe that not too long ago, there were no art galleries or museums for the artists to show their work. We've come to Al Fahidi historic neighborhood in the heart of old Dubai to take you inside the Majlis Gallery, where a visionary British expatriate opened the very first fine arts gallery in UAE. There was a sudden beginning of more galleries and, and more places where artists could show their work in this part of the world. But all of the good artists that you'll find at places like Meme Gallery or Third Line, prior to there being places for them to show here, they were showing all over the world. It's just that suddenly here in Dubai, the, the outlets were there that weren't there before. The artists were always there, but they weren't seeing this as a market. But then with the growth of Dubai and with the fact that more galleries were opening, um, they came here. But they were there before the galleries. <laughs> I think the galleries didn't make the artists, the artists made the galleries. Alison is right. The artists were always here. They just didn't have anywhere to show their work. We've come to meet the UAE's most celebrated artist, Mr. Abdul Qadir Al Rais, often referred to as a national treasure. His work has helped inspire the phenomenal growth we see in today's art scene. In the school, which I remember, which was my uh, classmate there, he was uh, telling me, Abdul Qadir, you should take care of your education. The artists will not, you can't eat from art. It was difficult to sell art. It wasn't easy. And, uh, and this is not only that time during 60 and 70, also during uh, 80 and 90, but after 2000 and 2005 and 6, everything has changed. Now a lot of people, they come, they come and ask me, their son or their daughter, they have talent in art, how we can, uh, they can learn more and how we can advise them. And these things, it wasn't uh, happening before. This is good for the new generation who is coming uh, after us. At least we leave for them something. Right, we start late, but we have. Abdul Qadir's journey began in the Al Fahidi neighborhood, which has become a hotspot for Dubai's growing art scene. We thought we'd go and check out an art gallery with a twist. XVA have combined a hotel, art gallery, and a cafe in one to provide a truly unique artistic experience. When I opened XVA, um, the house itself. Uh, lent itself to the concept of being a place where people could stay, people could eat, and people could exhibit. When I opened, I was the third gallery in Dubai. Uh, Majlis Gallery was first, and then Green Art Gallery. And I felt there was a need for a gallery showing more contemporary art. I think that art is something that uh, captures the magic um, that the artist sees and or wants to portray and that's what uh, attracts people to art and um, you know it's it can be beauty it can be provocation of some sort it it's it's what we want to see Hadil Mufti a Saudi born artist moved to Dubai about four years ago and soon after taking the studio started getting noticed in Dubai's art scene it's not like being in New York or London or Paris, but really exciting. There are so many things going on and things change really fast. Um, there are lots of opportunities for artists and it is like everything else in Dubai. Um, if you work really hard, you can do so much. Hadil's dramatic style is even more intriguing when she explains her inspiration. Um, I like to repeat the same image, I call that, um, it's called serialism, as in serial, because I think one, only one image can look so different and if repeated, and um, you can change the image slightly, uh, make it bigger, smaller, black and white colored, and, and just, just get a strong sense of that one image, much, much more than if you just had it in a big scale. Hadil's big break came when she was accepted in the Sika Festival last year. The Sika Festival is an annual event which takes place in the Al Fahidi historic neighborhood. The word Sika refers to alleyways between the old houses in Dubai. 
During the festival, the whole area is transformed into what can be described as a street party which celebrates the arts. You know, ideally, we're all a team here. When Sika happens for a few weeks, uh, there's like a spirit that you don't find anywhere. With the growing success of the annual Sika Art Festival, Al Fahidi neighborhood continues to support art enthusiasts to come together and celebrate creativity. I think it's like an origin point of where everything started nearby the creek and everything. So um, everything started here, everything started by trade. So having art here symbolizes a lot when it comes to the country by itself. The kids can play on the streets and it's one of the rare places in Dubai when you can walk on streets. We don't have the, the urban feel <laughs> everywhere. Dubai come to famous for everything for uh, culture, for art, for anything. I really like it, like, a lot of Emirati artists are growing and getting better like, year by year. I can see improvement. The UAE has come a long way in establishing its art movement and it seems to be growing stronger year by year. I'm Sarvi Garampaya, Golf News.